갈 건데 심판 보러 올래? I believe that could have potentially been Red's voice actor, but I don't actually know. <clears throat> okay. Uh, hey guys, and welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. Um, so I found out that the download content was actually just um audiobook related stuff and things like just kind of that are extra it's not actually like the characters so I was completely wrong in my rant before so these are the only guys that you have that you can play around with um so I guess I just bought two audiobooks that are in Korean <laughs> I'm quite silly uh, I think they're in extras actually um bonus um oh no maybe maybe I can't see them yet because I haven't gone through the actual game oh these are the pictures that I have so far of the guys there's them as dolls there's them in the kitchen and then there's just them being students um, I don't have anything for Lance or Yunho, Yuri, Tae, or Red. And then there's a mysterious other person who is obviously the white-haired dude that we don't know anything about, who's with this this music box. Um, did I look at everything? No, wait, memory. What's memory? I have no memories. Holy crap, there's a lot of memories for you. There's a lot of memories for you. Too. There's more for you! Oh my gosh, there's even more for you. You have two pages. And then there's tons for you, too. Oh my gosh, what the hell? There's so much that goes on. Okay. Not sure who that could have been. That I did hear a little bit of the audiobook from Yunho. Um, so it could have been him, because it kind of sounded like his voice actor. Uh, but I have no idea. <laughs> but... Yeah, I guess uh, you don't have to do what I think you had to do in order to get characters and endings and stuff. It was just extra. So that explains a lot. Um, I guess I just have a little bit of extra for Red and Yunho. Okay. Um, I can't understand Korean, but I do like the sound of it, if that makes sense. Like, I like the sound of... Korean and Japanese, and I like their original um, characters as well. So, if I can ever get to the point where I can be fluent with Japanese when it comes to speaking it at least, I'll probably start learning Korean as well, just for the heck of it. Because, honestly, it'd be really cool to know both languages, though I'm less involved with anything Korean than I am with Japan, because... Well, I don't really have like a good reason for it. It's just that it's easier for me to access anything that's made in Japan, such as um, anime, for instance. I watch a lot of anime. Um, and I don't think Korea makes any anime. I think they just have dramas. And there was one Korean drama. It was either a Japanese or a Korean drama, I can't remember, that I was watching back when my roommates had Crunchyroll back at this apartment I used to live at, and, uh, they would just let me bin, uh, use their Crunchyroll to watch whatever I wanted, so I did that. Um, it's, but yeah, anyway, I, I'll probably learn Korean at some point, and then I can actually play this in the original language, same with Dandelion, that'd be cool, and I could have the original voices and everything, that'd be fun. <clears throat> uh, for now, though, let's just continue. <clears throat> Gosh, I tend to ramble too much at the beginning. I'm so sorry for that. I don't even mean to, it just kind of happens. Anyway, let's open the classroom door. I can barely see because of the dazzling sunlight coming from the windows. Lance, Yunho, Tae, Red, and Yuri are my precious dolls. But one day I woke up to find that my dolls have come alive and more, we will be going to the same academy. I hope nothing happens. Will everything be okay? 
Anxiety starts creeping up on me as I think about what lies ahead. Okay, here we go. What is waiting for us now? I shake off my fears and tread step by step towards the classroom. One chapter has been at, has been ended. Would you like to save? Yes. Uh, I'll save. Yes, I'd like to overwrite that. New routine. Yeah, new routine. Okay. And that's the alarm. Uh, ouch, my back hurts a bit. Did I sleep wrong? I turned off the ringing alarm clock and got up from bed. I was awake, but my head was still drowned in sleep. I wish the classroom was right beside our house. Or actually, living inside the classroom wouldn't be so bad. Then I wouldn't have to go to school, wouldn't I? Then I won't be worried about being late. Ugh. I should stop having useless thoughts and start getting ready to head out. Looking into the mirror, I, tied I tidied my hair. My hair was frizzier than usual from the sleep. And as always, I turned around and said hi to no one. It's already been a week since I started going to school with the dolls. I didn't even notice the time pass by because I was busy from trying to settle this and that. Before even getting used to eating with this many people, I have to get used to a boisterous way to school. One day my dolls came alive and now I go to the academy with them. Every day still feels like a dream, so every morning I pinch myself. And every time I feel the same thing. Pain. I was saying good morning to the dolls as I always did when the door opened without a knock. Uh- Red, what the fuck are you doing? You knock on a girl's door. Always. Always. Hey, heroine, give me food. Of course it was Red who barged into my room without a knock. The one who interrupted my sacred ritual of greeting the dolls was a doll. At that thought, I suddenly woke up from my lingering sleep. I look at the doll I was saying hi to and, and the man standing in front of me asking for food. This really is a surreal and exciting moment. Food! If it weren't for that wine coming out of his mouth. And what, heroin? Who dares to barge into a girl's room without knocking like that? Disgusted, I instinctively threw whatever was near my hand. Hey, what? wait, what are you throw- Ouch! After being hit by a huge pillow, he fell down hard. After Red fell down, I saw Yunho behind him, scared. Master, good, good morning. Finally, someone gave me a proper morning greeting. I could tell by him peering towards Red that Yunho was being scared of me. Oh, hi, Yunho. Had a good night's sleep? Why are you standing there like that? Come in. What? Okay, then. Hey, heroine. Aren't you being cruel? This is dull discrimination. Red complained with his face smothered in the pillow. You got what you asked for, but what's with that weird title? Oh, that's... Oomph. Red threw away the pillow and got up. Looking at his sparkling eyes, I could tell he already forgot about the pillow. Didn't you see the TV? TV! The person who's always by the Justice Warrior's side! The heroine! The damsel in distress who's always held hostage by the villain and cries out for help! Red said out loud triumphantly. The commander-in-chief said that I can't become a true warrior unless I have a damsel in distress, but you're the only girl in this house, so I decided yesterday night. Congratulations! You're a heroine from today! You and I will defend the Earth from now on! I guess Red only looks for the right gender in a heroine. Besides, considering that he has... What? Oh, besides, considering that he asked for food from a heroine, he mustn't know what a hero heroine really is. I think I said heroine. Ah, with those words, they're too similar. Should I tell him that it's at least not someone who gives him food? Ah, uh, all right, all right. But what's with the commander in chief? Who's that? Oh, didn't I tell you? You know Tay? He's the commander in chief, and that little guy over there is yellow. My god, Tay, a commander in chief. But I guess Tay would half jokingly participate in Red's pranks. But why Yunho? Uh. I turn my head to see Yunho make the bed. Hearing he's a part of it, I can already just see his future suffering. <laughs> Yunho, did you really agree to be yellow? Huh? Yeah. Yunho smiled awkwardly. Oh, uh, I like yellow. It's a warm color. He didn't seem so sad to be the scapegoat of Red's prank. Anyways, I'm just asking. The reason Yunho's yellow. It's not because his hair is yellow or something lame like that, right? Bingo! You really are the heroine! So smart! Red even clapped while laughing. 
Red's simplicity is almost admirable somehow. But I smiled to see him so energetic this early in the morning. Hmm, so Yuri is black and Lance silver? But doesn't black always die and silver betray? Is this supposed to be a reference to... To... Oh, what was it? What was it called? That Rangers show. With the spandex. And there was red and there was yellow. And pink was the girl. The only girl. And there was black and... Power Rangers! There we go. Power Rangers! Is this supposed to be a reference to Power Rangers? Because I never watched that show. Like, uh, I know one of my friends from elementary school did. Because he grew up with it. Uh, I'm not sure how he watched it, though. Uh, I'm, it might have been a show that you were able to get in Canada. I think it was, but I don't know what channel. Because I know I had, like, the Bunny Ears TV as a kid for the longest time, so I only had very limited channels to work with. Come to think of it, Yuri does seem like he'll meet his end after getting up so smooth, getting up to something by himself. And Lance will coldly hand them over to the enemy just to be left alone. Why are you guys playing around when you were simply supposed to wake her up? Do you all want to be late? Oops, I got caught up in Red's prank without knowing. I never realized time passing by when I'm with Red. I was teaching her the mindset of a heroine, but Commander, she's a bit too violent for a heroine. Is that okay? She looks like she'll escape by herself from the monst- As I pretend to look for something else to throw, the warrior of justice hid in the corner. Actually, never mind, yep. All right, I got you. Red, go wash. If you go on your rescue mission like that, the heroine will mistake you for another monster. I can wash after I eat, I'm hungry. It's in order. Now march to the bathroom. Ugh, not fair. Can't believe you're ordering me right now. It was you who appointed me as the commander. Red looked dejected, <laughs> but soon followed Tay's orders and headed to the bathroom. Now I see that Tay took part in Red's prank to handle him. Ugh, can't believe it's this difficult to make him wash when he's not even a child. Uh, let's see. How about you, Noel? Tay's become... Tay's become everyone's parent. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the case. And I don't know what's up with this here. Like, does he have a little gut? Does he have a little bit of a gut going on? And that's why he has this? I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I think that's what those are used for, isn't it? To show, to, for guys so that they don't have a gut? I'm gonna shut up now. As soon as Yin Ho's name was called, he held out both his hands. I washed myself as soon as I woke up. Okay, good boy. I wouldn't be this annoyed if everyone is like Yoon-ho. Tae went over to him and stroked his soft hair, and Yoon-ho smiled happily. I was seeing a mother and son. <laughs> I guess Tae and Yuri switch between who's the mother and who's the father roles in this. Because at one point, I could have swore Yuri was the mom and Tae was the dad. You have to get ready too. There's not much time left. I was just about to, if someone hadn't agreed to become commander-in-chief and excited Red like that. I was completely baffled by Red barging in as soon as I woke up and talking about heroines and commander-in-chiefs and whatnot. I stared at Tay since he was the one who told Red all that. <laughs> who is that someone? I stared at Tay who was trying to slip through, but instead of being scared, he only smiled. Whenever Tay talks and smiles like that, I end up smiling back. After Tay left, I looked back to the dolls on the shelf. It wasn't... A dream. Lance, Tae, Yoon-ho, Red, and Yuri are all in this house, and in human form at that. I will say hi to the dolls and feel surprised at the boys coming into the room. Oh, I still say hi to the dolls, despite... Blah, 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 blah. Every morning when I wake up, I feel like I'm having another dream. But this life of going to the academy with them was definitely not a dream. Everything is real. For today's breakfast... Toast? Usually Tay prepares breakfast. But compared to other days, today was, was a bit sloppy and cute. Oh, it's a bunny! It's a bunny with eggs! Oh, that's adorable! I'd probably actually eat breakfast if it was served to me like that. On the plate were toast and rabbit-shaped fried eggs. Who made this? Yunho and Red struggled from the morning. Oh, really? I was surprised and looked at Yunho and Red. Red was proudly glistening his eyes and Yunho was shyly waiting for my response. Oh, they're just so cute. I like them both. Oh, Yunho. 
most especially because soft spots like if i remember correctly i guess those shards at the beginning were probably going to be the boys that i can woo and i'm pretty sure yunho lance and yuri were on that list i think i don't actually know i can't remember even though i like literally just edited the video yesterday i can't remember <laughs> Uh, whatever. Uh, well, yesterday compared to when I'm recording this, anyway. Uh, if it's yesterday on whatever schedule I've decided to put this on, then I don't actually know if that's accurate. <laughs> Probably not. How did you make this? I've never seen a rabbit-shaped fried, fried egg before. It's so cute I almost can't eat it. Oh, Yellow made that. FYI, I made the toast. The toast looked normal considering that Red had made it. It was just toast, but thinking Red did, but thinking Red did it made me feel proud. Yeah, he kind of seems like he's pretty incapable of almost everything that's normal. There's a pretty cool machine here. If you put bread in, it pops up later. Don't you think we'll be able to make a weapon out of this if we tweak it a bit? No, I replied while taking a bite of the toast. I was waiting for him to say something like that, but thank God he knows how to use a pro toaster properly. If you like it, I'll make it every day. You're my heroine. Red beamed. Oh, oh, he looks so cute. Stop that. <laughs> Why are the fried eggs shaped like rabbits? I asked Yunho while pondering whether I should eat these cute eggs. You liked rabbit patterns. I remembered that and tried it. I'm glad you liked them. Yunho fidgeted a bit. He seemed to be a bit embarrassed. Yunho even remembered that I liked rabbit patterns. Which makes me think of Dandelion. Which actually... Uh, Dandelion came before this game, apparently. Uh, and I thought this game came first, because there was stuff in the store for this game, um, when I had found Dandelion, so I just thought that that one came first, but I guess not. <laughs> Whatever. I guess they're playing homages to Dandelion in certain ways, including rabbits. Especially because- Oh, I get it, because Yunho and- and- Oh, what was... It wasn't Jihei. Jion! No, it wasn't Jion. Oh, fuck. I can't remember. But with the bunny, he's very soft-spoken and cutesy and, like, the youngest one. And Yunho's kind of the same thing with hair. Oh, I get it! No wonder he's my favorite. Because I like the rabbit. I like the cute little white rabbit. Oh. <laughs> but I think... I don't remember who was my favorite right away. I know I got the black cat's ending first, which he's supposed to be the hardest one to get, but I got him on my first try, so I don't know. Anyway, I naturally smiled at imagining him trying his best to cook the eggs. I felt like I was floating on a cloud. I forgot how happy it feels to prepare breakfast for someone. I feel tickly and happy. Anyways, where did Yuri go? We were all smiling, but when I asked that, they suddenly looked hesitant. Yuri goes out of the house most often among the five. If I remember correctly, he wasn't home until last night, too. Until late last night, too. Uh. Mm. Darling, don't you have softer sheets in the house? My sensitive skin screams every morning. Yuri walked into the kitchen, still sleepy. I'm now used to his facial masks. The one you're using right now is pretty good, you know. But why were you out so late last night? I know I look ridiculous when I put face masks, masks on because, like, yeah, yeah, but oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh, but that face. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Here he stood in front of the table without replying. What is this? Fried eggs Yunho made. And you still haven't washed? What time is it right now? Hey! Yuri snatched my fried egg and ate it. Uh, Yuri took away the fried egg Yunho made. Yunho instantly looked like he was about to cry. Oh no, baby! Regardless, Yuri chewed and went on talking. Don't worry, my honey. I'll be armed in my radiant looks when I head out. Just wait three minutes. Anyways, this tastes pretty good. I saw Yunho get teary-eyed. I wasn't even able to touch the breakfast he made for me. You know, you made it for me. 
I'm sorry I couldn't eat it. N no master, it's not your fault. I did hope you would eat it. But I saw you smile, so that's enough. But more than that, how about your breakfast? Oh right, wait, I'll make another one. I felt sorry to see Yunho hide his disappointment and worry about me. I held his hand as he was about to get up. M master I beamed at him. I wanted to show him that I appreciated his present, although I couldn't eat the egg. He said he liked me smiling, so I hope this will give him a good start for the day. Master. Yunho bashfully smiled back. Oh, he's so cute! Stop this! Ah, uh, he's too adorable! This is, uh, he's too cute! Yuri, I'll let you go this time, but next time you bother Yellow, I'll make sure you pay. Why are you so energetic? Work... Why are you so energetic worked up right now? That's bad English. Showing off your youth. But since when were you guys on the same side? And when did I bother him, huh? You just ate that fried egg. Yunho made that for me. You just snatched it away. You just snatched away his present for me. What? You're getting mad for that? How petty. Fine. Yuri suddenly got up and held up my chin. What? What? Do don't shove your face! Now, my honey, close your eyes. If you kiss me now, you'll be able to taste your nose fried egg? Oh my god! <laughs> Don't- No! 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 That- No, that's not- Oh, that's the worst pickup line I've ever heard. <laughs> Actually, it's probably not the worst one I've ever heard. There's worse ones. But still... <laughs> No! That will be enough. Ow! <laughs> All of a sudden, his face mask falls off because he gets hit with a slipper. <laughs> oh, God, what? A slipper came flying his way and hit him right at the back of his head. He clutched his head and dropped down on the spot. Where did that thing just come from? What is this atrocity? Did you eat something wrong when you were out last- late last night? Lance, wearing only one slipper, slowly walked towards the table. <laughs> Lance, my only protector. It must have been Lance who threw it. Thanks, Lance. If it weren't for you, he would have gotten me again. Ugh, you should be more careful. Bugs keep cloying- Bugs keep cloying onto you because you always gape. Lance sat down, poker-faced. Yuri was still crouched on the floor and clutching his head. Getting hit with a slipper is not that bad. God damn, Yuri, you're such a baby. It was just a slipper. Cry baby. Yeah, okay, at least her and I are on the same side. You're being punished for what you did, Yuri. Lance punished you for stealing away my fried egg and doing weird stuff. Oh, my honey, aren't you being too cold? It was just a friendly gesture. What? No, that's not a friendly gesture, you fucking flirt. We'll be living in the same house for a while. Shouldn't we get used to each other? Not like that. No. A friendly gesture? Ugh. It's my fault for expecting you to have common sense. Ring. Huh? I must have gotten a text. I turned my phone on and checked the text. What? You can't get a text if your phone's off. Unless you mean turning on the screen when it's in sleep mode. I understand that. Another ad. It must be time to change my number again. I've been getting a lot of these lately. Oh my god, honey. I've always wanted to tell you, but I should say it right now. What? That metal piece of crap. I can't believe you take that with you. It's so unattractive. It gets on my nerves. Yuri pointed at my phone with disgust. Oh, I thought the same thing. No one uses the folding type anymore. Everyone uses smartphones at the academy. She has a flip phone. <laughs> that makes me think of my buddy Jonah. He still has a flip phone. Get a new one right now! I can't bear seeing my honey use such crap. I don't really feel the need to change it. I only call and text anyways. It's exactly as I said. I'll only be calling and texting, so I don't need other fancy applications. Besides, even if I get a smartphone, there are only a few people I'll stay in contact with. Excuse me. And I hate that you have to study it to use one. Just seeing other kids use it makes my head hurt. Don't you have to take off that mask now? You've had it on for too long. I'm slowly getting worried he's having it on for too long. Yeah, take it off. I've seen it a couple times now, but I still can't get used to it. 
Red agrees. Every time I see Yuri with that thing at night, I feel like I'm going to get a heart attack. What is that? Um, but... Red seemed confused, but soon triumphantly pointed at Yuri. Yes, a bobbler ghost! You mean a bachelor ghost. Get your facts straight before you pretend to know. Oops. And please, could you be quiet? I cannot eat if you are constantly screaming like that. You do not have to show off your stupidity for everyone to know, so please stop. Ugh, if ghosts really exist, they should take you away. What? Hey, who are you calling a fool? Bachelor or babbler? Who cares? They're all ghosts anyway. I ain't scared of nothing. Seeing Red establish his own theory on exorcism, Lance looked at him with scorning eyes. He can't even be bothered to correct him anymore. <laughs> Red is funnier than usual today. Anyways, Lance is so nice for correcting Red's every word when he can just ignore it. Whatever. Lance snorted at his words and continued to eat. Hey, Tay, what's a bachelor ghost? Is it a bad ghost? Oh, you don't know. A bachelor ghost is something like Yuri over there who died as a bachelor without getting married. They're usually called faceless ghosts. It's said that because they've died before they could get a girl, every time they see one, they go crazy and hit on them. You saw earlier. Tay Yuri with his kind smile and soft voice. Contrary to his smile, his words were quite vicious. After hearing Tay's explanation, Yoon Ho understood and nodded. At that moment, the egg thief suddenly stood up. No wonder he's so mad, since apparently he died before he could get a girl. Wait, you said that? I didn't die as a bachelor! Yuri overreacted as if he as if he've mistook himself as the bachelor ghost. It was like seeing someone who heard a scary prophecy. In today's words, a bachelor ghost is a forever alone. I feel bad for him. I suddenly feel, felt immense sympathy and camaraderie towards the bachelor ghost. I mean, it's not because I'm a forever alone, but why do I suddenly feel like crying? Well, you have been alone and you don't seem to have a boyfriend. You're not close with your friends. And in order to fill the void of your grandpa dying, you really got connected to your dolls and then they came to life. So... I can see why. So, uh, um... Yunho suddenly pulled out a notebook from nowhere and started writing something down. Tay was telling him something by his side. Bachelor ghosts are afraid of garlic. Yuri didn't get married. Ugh, my pencil. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yunho ghosts are afraid of garlic. Yuri didn't get married. Ugh, my pencil broke. Wait, okay, continue. Bachelor ghosts hit on girls like crazy. Write down garlic and cross. So when a bachelor ghost hits on girls, feed Yuri garlic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Tay's enthusiastic about participating in Red's pranks. Now he's teaching Yunho weird things. <laughs> and Yunho seems to believe it all. At Tay's words, I started to imagine Yuri's tormented face after being forcefully fed garlic. <laughs> what is going on? You jerk! Stop calling me a bachelor ghost even after seeing my chiseled face. You're all so beneath me, I can't even talk to you guys. Hey, no food for me. I don't feel like eating anymore. I'm going to shower and refresh myself. Yuri snorted and headed towards the bathroom. That dude, what's he talking about? He already ate everything. Red said after looking at the empty plate that used to hold the fried egg Yuri just ate. Heroin. Heroin? Why aren't you answering? Are you really going to call me that? Yes! My name has suddenly become heroine. Red continued on. Yeah, yeah, call me whatever you want. Actually, Red came over and whispered. Huh? What is it? I was curious what, ha what he had to whisper. I've been thinking. I think there's a spy among us. A spy? Shh, quiet. He might be listening to us right now. What? I was so confused as to what's going on. What are you- what are you talking about, Red? Okay, um... Red put his finger on my mouth. I can't understand why Red's being so serious and like his usual self. You don't seem to have noticed, but I feel some bad spirits in the house. Especially there! There's something about the owner of that room. Red pointed at Yuri and Tay's room. The owner of that room? Yes, Commander-in-Chief, and the Babbler Ghost. It seems that Yuri will be called that for the time being. The Commander is on our side, so only the Babbler Ghost is left. Suspicious. What's suspicious? What he's doing? The last time I passed the living room, the door was a bit open, so I peeked. <laughs> that guy. He was using a smartphone to communicate with the enemy. Mademoiselle, if I could see your beautiful smile one more time, I would do anything in the world. If I could hold your soft dear hands again, shiny wings would grow on my back. <laughs> 
The only thing I took from that was that Yuri's flattery was top-notch. Isn't it weird? Who was he talking to? And he finished the call with saying, Good night, my sweet angel. It must have been a secret code with the enemy. Yuri? Betrayed us? I can't believe it. Yun Ho's in it now. <laughs> he fluttered his eyelashes and trembled. As innocent Yun Ho is, he seems to be just as gullible to Red's pranks. Well, in some sense, Red is very innocent. We've definitely been seeing Yuri say things I can't understand on his smartphone, but... But, I still can't believe it. How can Yuri... I thought we, we were friends. I don't feel like drinking my milk now. The atmosphere became serious as Yunho became genuinely sad. Yellow, don't be so sad. A path of justice warrior is supposed to be difficult and lonely. Even if someone betrays us, we must head on. Somehow our house became the headquarters of two justice warriors and a commander. And apparently of one traitor who crossed the enemy lines blinded by a mademoiselle. Wait, then is Lance no longer the traitor? Then what about Lance? Him? What? Of course he's the villain. Ow! As Lance stood up after finishing his meal, a slipper came flying towards Red. I'm seeing a lot of those big, beautiful slippers flying through the air. I should call those the flying slippers from now on. Ah! Uh, don't fight at the table. Dust is getting on the food. Yunho scolded him after laying down the steaming milk cup. Food must be more important than their fight. Yunho was trying all his might to protect the remaining food after Yuri snatched away that fried egg. Yes, you two, stop. We have to get ready and go to the academy. I swear, they're already like a half an hour late. They must be. Like, what the actual fuck? This all could not have progressed as quickly as what they're suggesting. <sighs> Following the commander's orders, Red reluctantly sat down. Lance walked towards the sink without saying anything. How can having breakfast be this difficult? Because you're surrounded by boys and boys are fucking weird. I was about to relax after Tay's mediation when the bathroom door opened. Yuri walked out of the bathroom, still steaming. And... With just a towel on his waist. Ah! I stopped eating and covered my eyes with my hands. Why the hell is he not wearing his clothes? Phew, I feel fresh. Hmm, what is it, my honey? What's wrong? Are you being shy? <laughs> Come on, we're just going to see everything of each other soon anyways. Yuri gave his wicked smile and approached me. I have no idea what this that everything is. Yes, you do. But I do know that that's something I don't want to see. <laughs> if you do not turn around this instant and go to your room, I will show you myself something you really do not want to see. I will help too. <laughs> well, I can't even talk to my honey properly with all these intruders. Well, still many more chances to come. Alright. If we're in the academy, you guys won't be able to intrude. I'm the teacher with power, and all of you the helpless students. Oh my god. Don't bring up teacher scandals. Oh my god, no. At Yuri's words, my desire to go to the academy vanished. Yuri smiled triumphantly and went into his room. Ugh, there's not a single moment to be off guard. Oh, right. Since Yunho's here, I need to say something. Yunho, please call me by my name in the classroom, not Master. I've made him practice for a week, but he still stutters. M mass oh right, airy in front of Soe and Shinbi. Okay. Not calling Master Master. I can't do that. At first, Yunho said no and didn't budge. But now I think he's trying to understand and call me by my name in front of others. For Lance's overly polite attitude, I can just argue that it's his personality. But there was nothing I could say about what Yunho called me. The bag's heavy. Oh, right, airy. I was adjusting my bag when Tay called me. Yeah? There's something I have to tell you. What is it? I've decided to take a part-time job. A part-time job? When it hasn't even been ten days since you became human? But, well, if it's you. If it's Tay, I'm not worried at all. If another doll said that, I would have been. But he's the most reliable in the house, so I think you'll be able to manage it. <laughs> I'm glad you trust me. What's your job? Maybe it's at a bookstore since he likes books. I'll be working at a cafe. It's called Banjul. Bring your friends sometime. It's at... Tay explained in detail the way we get there. The way to get there. Oh! Soe and Shinbi are all the friends I have. Should I take them there later? I should ask when I see them today. Okay, I will. But aren't you nervous about starting a job? Nervous? Well, not really. Tay smiles. His smile comforted me, but at the same time made me a 
made me feel a bit iffy. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't think they know what it is to have a job. I'll be waiting. You have to come. All right. Tay went to the library to get his bag. A part-time job. I guess a smart doll makes money by himself. Oh, of course, except Yuri. All right. Since we're finished eating, we should start heading out. Who should I go to school with? Oh, we have chances. We... Yeah, okay, so there's Yunho, Yuri, and Lance. And those are the ones that I'm supposed to woo, I think. Because I can't choose Red or um, Tay right now. But once I finish one playthrough with one of the boys, then I will probably go after Tay next, because I just, ee, he's just so reliable, and I really like it. And he's also really attractive, and he's got a good personality. So yeah, you know, he's, he's pretty great. Uh, but I'm gonna click save, and I'm also going to save. And, uh, oh yeah, there's the di- Oh, there's status now! Okay, uh, there's diary, which gives you this. Um, ever since the dolls came to life, I haven't wanted to take pictures of the dolls, since they're human now, and I'd be too embarrassed. Ugh, how should I put these feelings into words? Taking the bus is hell these days. It's basically the dolls become- It's because the dolls became humans. Basically, it's because there are more girls who want to take the bus with the boys in my house. I think it'd be best to go to school at separate times. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, but now there's status, so... Lance. The doll received a lot of love, self-explanatory from its title, the number one, popular doll, but it was mass-produced because it was highly demanded. He's your first ball-joint doll and the only doll that was adopted when Grandpa was alive, so he knows how sad you were right after he passed away. He has a wall against other people. The reason he always speaks politely is because he thinks is because he thinks he's not close enough to them to be friendly. Oh, then there's Yunho. A ball joint doll released to bring out the mother instinct from all girls. Yeah, he definitely does that. A sweet boy who knows how to be cute and is a bit timid. He sometimes resembles a cute kitten and has a charm of bringing out the mother instinct from everyone. He has a memory of being abandoned, so he gets lonely easily and follows the female lead a lot. He can feel radio waves and sense and talk to ghosts. He seems to have fun with animals and even talks with them. You bought him as used. He calls you master and he talks politely to anyone. Oh, stop being so cute. Yuri, who's a bit of a creep. A doll from Crobadol's adult line. He was immensely popular because he was released as a sexy drummer who satisfies all women. You felt lonely on Christmas and bought him impulsively. He shows hints of narcissism, but he can be an adult when you or the other dolls get in trouble by secretly taking care of things. Sometimes he sneaks out of the house without you knowing. He doesn't seem to get along that well with Tay. Yee, Tay. A doll released as a premium limited edition. He was sold out in mere minutes. A man who's kind and generous on the surface. He likes drinking coffee and tea and enjoys reading old books. He's good at taking care of the housework and he receives good grades at the academy. He's the most popular one at the academy. He bought Tay through an auction. See, I can, I really like coffee and, well not really coffee, but I drink it as long as I can't taste what coffee, the coffee, I taste like sweet stuff. And I like tea. And I like reading books, especially old books, but, uh, taking care of housework isn't my strong suit, and sometimes my grades slip. <laughs> but he's, mm, mm, I like him probably the best, other than, well, I don't know, I like Yunho and Lance kind of as a tie. Yuri is just kind of like, uh, and Red's cute, he's alright. He was released with an action hero concept targeted for a small fan base, but the doll failed in gaining popularity and only one and only one was produced. You were given the one and only existing red through a raffle. He likes chocolate and he is generally energetic and positive about everything. He likes playing soccer during lunchtime because of he likes playing soccer during lunchtime. Because of his concept, he always attempts to defeat the villain and believes that one day he will realize his hidden powers to defeat the villain. Oh boy. So I guess your status is similar to Dandelion, where you have to try and woo, -y, woo them, but I don't know how it'll show... I wonder if it'll show through facial expressions? It kind of did that with Dandelion, so they might do that. Uh, but that's where I'm gonna end it! In the next one, you will find out who I decide to go to school with. Though, 
To be honest, I'm not really sure. <laughs> anyway, see you.